Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cave Factory. I'm here to renovate. Uh, guys, I had a comment in my videos that said the fireflies are because of the biomes that we're in. And I never noticed up by our map that we are in several different biomes. So we have a mountains biomes. And then like right here is a plains biome. And then there's a plains biomes. And then I think there was a prairie. There's a wooded biomes over here. But it's real small. It's like one block, see? One block. And then over here... I think there was a prairie biomes, uh, plains. Let's see, yeah, this all stays plains. So yeah, there's like several biomes over here. Uh, the cool thing is, um, I got cows. That's kind of fun. Those just spawned. <gasps> now I have a pig. Sweet. You know what's really cool though is you can come over here. I have pig and sheep. Holy crap! Oh man, if they touch these though, they're gonna die. That's stupid things. Um. I, mean, I guess I could put, go put them over there. But the cool thing is you can pick them up. See? You can pick them up. You can see his little butt hole. So we'll put them over here with the cow. I had two cows. I don't know what happened to the other cow. Maybe he drowned. I don't know. Let's just put him in here. So we'll put him in there. Uh, I'm just letting the llama, like, walk around. So that's a scary looking piggy. Ouch. I'll take the sheep, though. Man, if we could get some sheep, I wouldn't need all the string. Yeah, see, he just hit that thing. That's cool. All right, so we might breed some of these sheep. I never thought about that. Sheep might be a good thing. Well, actually, I can't breed it because I only have one. But maybe we'll get more. I don't know. I think the more grassland we put down, the more animals we'll get. We'll have to see. Let's get this little this little midnight piggy and put him over here too. Oops. I hope that cow didn't drown. Maybe he fell down in here. Oh, I don't, oh I did. Never mind. Jeez. Um, as you can see, this is all. I had to, <laughs> I had to tear this all completely out. And now this is like off-centered, but that's only because I was looking in our quest book. Oh, you want to see something cool? You can change your elevator blocks to look like regular blocks. So now I have elevator blocks, so I need to change that one. Um, but I was reading in the book, and I was looking at the challenges. And to get this creative fluid tank, it says I need a regular fluid tank, which we're going to probably get today, but I need it in a tier 5 altar. And I only had this set up for a tier 4. So I had to break all this out, three more blocks. So that is tier five. That is tier four. I went ahead and made all these. I don't have any like pretty ones. <laughs> I don't I mean the the ones that are like capacity or anything for the tier four. But I have the tier threes ready, and then that would be the tier five. But I don't think I can make the tier five unless we have I think this is redstone blocks, and I think those are beacons, maybe. I don't remember. It's been a while. Um I tore all this out. Uh, I've been busy, guys. I tore all this out and cleaned it all up. We got rid of, of the um, nether portal here. Uh, I had plans on doing two different things today. One of these is automating... Oh, Jesus. One of these is um, automating... Um, I should have just went up the ladder over here. Automating this thing over here because I got to keep coming over here and switching this out from the gravel to the sand. And I'm only getting like a little bit of clay. So that's a thing. So... What I'm wanting to do, let's go ahead and grab all this and grab all that. What I'm wanting to do is um, basically separate the gravel and have one belt go to a storage chest for gravel. We could actually just drop it down here, have it go underground and do it. And then the other belt would go to another grinding wheel. And so it would constantly be making sand and clay. Let's put that in there. So, oh, that's probably maxed out, isn't it? Yeah, I think I have, uh, I need a drawer here. I might still have an upgrade though. Do I have one more left? I have one more left. This is what I was making. Some of these have, you can see I had to, this has got stack limit upgrades been increased. This one's been increased. You see the, the, the 1024, that's an increase. I had to increase the the iron one, we've been getting a lot of iron, uh, but these are still down at 16. So we got it when they get to once uh, the 10, that one right there, we need to upgrade that so we can get more gravel in there. Because I think if I don't, the other, the rest of the gravel is going to go in one of these other chests. Uh, was this clay? That's grout. Okay. So anyways, uh, that's that. I might do that today. I don't know. But anyways, I had to make a tier five and then... I dug this out some more because I'm going to try to get some of our, our plant stuff going on. Uh, I grew these trees because I needed string. That costed me an emerald a piece. You can just buy them through this little thing here. Uh, click on your trees. Scroll down to here. Spiderweb and sapling. It costs one emerald. We did that. And yeah, and I've been destroying all this. 
and I don't have the materials yet to put it back, so that's what we're waiting on. So anyways, what I want to do today, oh, also I got this uh, bucket of creosote, which we haven't done anything with. I'm just going to throw it in there. Oh yeah, see, we didn't have enough room, so now we should have enough room. Yep, and sand. Oh crap, we don't have enough sand space. Uh, Do I have a drawer? Yeah, we have one drawer, so we can make, no, that's not the upgrade. No, it's not the upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Let's see. Drawer upgrade right here. Uh, oh, it needs this first. All right, let's do that. Put that in there. And then I can make this. All right, cool. So let's do that and put that in the sand drawer. So now it can do more sand. 1,000 sand. Yep, okay. Um, so yeah, I did that part of the quest. Um, let's go back into the quest book. Go to factories. So I got this. It says that we need to drop a seed into the creosote oil to get a random sapling um we could go ahead and do that i guess uh let's just grab that thing again cree there let's grab this uh let's break a block let's break uh let's break this one since i can get that one back put that there and then let's grab a seed we should have some seeds in here and then it just says drop it in there now does it take away the the water oh it doesn't so we keep the water well, that's freaking cool. Let's do that again. Let's go. Oh crap. I got some kind of a, a sickness or something going on. Keep. Oh my God. Look at all this. Look at all that. Look at all those. Oh, that's cool. All right. So now we got all these cool trees. I don't really know what to do with them, but I think I could go ahead and just put them in just a random chest probably. Um, I really need to clean up some stuff. We really... <laughs> Uh, we really need to get... Oh, there's a paper tree. That's freaking fantastic. Uh, what'd we get for that, by the way? Uh, I got a juicer. Oh, cool. So I can... Uh, we can make juices. Let's go ahead and put... Uh, let's go and put that in our thing. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put those in there. And put that in there. Okay, cool. All right, so we got that done. Let's go back into here. Uh, what else? Oh, we got uh, probably a bunch of this stuff. Yep. Uh, experience. Experience. All these experiences. So this is going to be an easy way to get all these trees. I might do that later. That should be all of them, right? Oh, food factory. The objective of this chapter is to prepare the ultimate automation for all foods in the pack. With well, a dedication. All foods? What do you mean? Uh, polar bear bait? What does polar bear bait mean? Parrot bait? Cat bait? Does this create something? <laughs> does that create a, like an animal or something? Um, so let's go back into this book and go back to this part, factories. Okay, I want to go down this way uh, and try to get this tank. All right, so let's go ahead and make uh, these pipes. I guess it doesn't matter which pipe. One is this way, immersive engineering pipes. The other is the fluid pipes. Um, this takes copper sheets and copper ingots, which we have. So we need two copper ingots and then one more additional one to make a sheet uh let's separate that real quick boom okay and then go like this whoops <laughs> i didn't mean to do that all right well that made two copper sheets all right so i need one more copper bar actually no that was exactly what we needed to do so we need let's clear this out two copper sheets and a copper bar that makes us eight fluid pipes and well that's weird so we got that so we got a pipe uh let's unlock that part and that gives us a fluid router interesting oh no who's dying oh dude stop here. here let's just get rid of these i'll plant them later so you guys don't die <laughs> i think that's what happened to my cow i think my cow died in there let's put these away uh actually you know what let's take uh, a couple of these eight's fine and there's this little blade thing here and then we'll get rid of this and we'll go like this because i'm out of food so we need some food there we go let's just leave that in there all right so let's eat this all right so this is a fluid router interesting i've never you oh wow all right, so let's just transfer it. Uh, so, interesting. I've never used that. And this has got pipes that come out, huh? You can hook these pipes up to this. That's cool. All right, cool. So, I've never used that. I don't have... Uh, I actually do have the hammer on me. Oh, crap. Oh, poop. Let's go grab a replacement block for that. That was dumb. That. Cook this. Gives us some more flooring. Put that back. Okay. So, we got that done. So, and then it wants us to make a fluid extractor. Now... I don't know which one I want to make. 
Uh, I'm thinking uh, fluid extractor. Let's click on this. I'm just curious. Uh, press W because I want to see how it works. So if we put the fluid extractor like this, it pumps. So this needs a wheel. And so this extracts fluid out of one tank and puts it somewhere else, right? All right. That makes sense. Okay. And then what's the other item do? This thing here. What does it do? Oh, I can't tell. It's a fluid pump. Uh, But it requires... A fluid pump requires power, right? Doesn't it? Pretty sure. Maybe not. Let's go into create. Isn't there something else that we can do on create that has to do with... Uh, it's like a pulley system right here. A spout, right? This... Can this pull... No, this spits fluids, right? So that spits fluids. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, let's go back into here. Um, let's see here. Let's look through here real quick. This is a copper tank. Uh, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. So there's there's a contraption that can suck fluids, right? Portable fluid interface. Hose pulley. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of. Whoops. Uh, press this. Hose pulleys can be used to fill or drain large Okay, that's what it is. With a kinetic input, and then the pulley retracts while the input... Ah, but then you're going to put a pipe right here, right? On the opposite side, pipes. Oh, so we could... Okay, so... Uh, oh, also, I forgot to show you guys. There's also an elevator here. This is where the, <laughs> this is where the portal is. I figured you guys could hear it. It's just under us. I just got it out of the way. All right. So, uh, that's interesting because if that's the case, uh, we'll go ahead and make this fluid extractor. Let's go ahead and make this. This one's fine. So we need a pipe and a cogwheel. I got tons of cogwheels. Actually, I don't need to go to that because that's all connected into here. Uh, so if we did this and then, um, what was it that, it's, uh, this one. Yep. That makes us one of those. Cool. So now we have a mechanical pump, which would pump the fluid, right? What does it take to make, uh, do we have ender tanks? Ender tank. Ender chest. Ender bag. Ender tank. So this requires obsidian, wool bucket, and then blaze rods. So the only way we can get blaze rods is if we go and find a blaze. Hmm. And the only way I'm going to be able to get a blaze is if I go and capture a blaze spawner so we might we might play with that all right let's not get ahead of ourselves so we got this that gives us a, a lever and some more cog wheels that's cool uh now we can make this tank here uh so this requires more copper sheets all right so let's grab a couple more pieces of copper let's do eight so uh let's put all those on there let's go down here and make sure everything's going through the system everything is going through the system is there anything stuck there's nothing stuck all right that's doing its thing let's go back up here let's see if this thing's getting full it's not um we could probably do this though just to keep things going oh by the way don't jump in there that will kill you <laughs> it kills you uh let's do that and let's go over this way. And let's go grab our copper sheets. So this would be good to get automated, getting some copper sheets. Eventually, we're going to have that other system, um, the system here. If we go to our quest book, if we go out of this, uh, go to storage. Eventually, we're going to have this, which we're going to have import and export pipes. Um, I really would like to get to this pretty soon. But in order to do this, I need power. So that's what we're, that's what we're getting to, the immersive engineering power. So let's throw these in there. Let's throw all this in there and that and that lever and then um so we can't do that yet so what were we working on we were working on factories of this so let's go into here this uh, this uh this actually can i press a on that there we go do a this this so that gives us four of those and then that gives us two tanks right now this, uh, if I press on this, all right, so they don't need walls. So you can make these as big as you want and then we can pump out of it. All right, that makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead. I can make four of these, right? That's cool. So we could put like, um, we could put these tanks like right here. Now, if I fill these tanks with lava, can I pick them up? Uh, let's open up. Oh my God, I don't have any lava left. Uh, yeah, I have two buckets. Can I pick these? Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. So you can't... How am I supposed to get the lava in there? Oh. Uh, so you can't just dump lava in there. Interesting. All right, so we'd have to get something that has a pump 
to pump the lava in there. Okay, so that's why we need to take those to the nether. Okay, and get a pump. All right, that makes sense. That makes total sense. All right, actually, you know what? Let's um, let's put these in there and then keep one of these in our in our in our box like this. All right. So, oh crap! I got a guy downstairs. What's up, man? All right. So let's go ahead and put these back. We don't need those right now. We got the quest for it. We got a tank upgrade. Replaces part of the backpack's inventory with a fluid storage. For real? A uh, backpack like this? Um, there's an item. What did it say? There's an item in at least one of the last 12 slots. Um, okay. 24,000 liters? So how do you get that in there? Just go like this? Oh, that is cool. And how do you get it out? Oh. <gasps> That is awesome. That is awesome. So I could get 24,000 liters in there. Actually, can we put this in there? All right, so we might do that. Okay, cool. That's good to know. All right, so we got that done. Now it wants us to make a tank from immersive engineering. Uh, this requires sheet metal and this. Uh, that gives us a liquid trash can. Let's go over to here, treated planks. Uh, I need that, so we need the creosote again. Uh, let's go in here and grab our bucket. So let's go over here, let's grab that. That's where the block came from. And if I put this in here and then surround it by lumber, which doesn't look like, where, where's all my lumber at? Is it, did we, did we not have any lumber? Have I used all the lumber? We just haven't made any lumber, that's the problem. Um, we have all this acacia wood. Uh, let's just grab, let's just grab that. I need to make a tree farm. Let's, uh, let's grab this. Let's grab the rest of this. All right, that's cool. I didn't mean to do that. Um, this and then this, correct? That makes eight of those. Cool. And then if I go like this, that makes the sticks, right? All right, cool. So we got that. That gives us an undisclosed amount of sticks, which is cool. And then you have this assembler and this is going to extracting an assembler what is that crafting treated planks can help tedious can get tedious and assembler can help with that projector will guide you through how to make i don't think we really need to make that but we do need to make this thing though so that's two treated slabs a treated fence and an engineer's table so we need to make some treated slabs all right let's get uh, let's type in treated uh, oh it's in our thing never mind Boop. All right, let's grab that, put those in there. Let's get rid of that. Let's actually just throw all this in there. And uh, let's go into here, into here, engineer's table. Here, let's just click on that. I need to clear all this out because a lot of the stuff I don't need anymore, but I guess it's okay to have it in here. And click on that, 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 and then that. Okay, so to make this, all right, that's done. And we just need the fence, the fence post. Uh, we're missing one. All right, let's get some more creosote. So this is in here. So we got some creosote in here. How much is in there? 9,000 buckets. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, let's put this here and make some more of this. That does that for us. And then we can make this fence there. Now we have this engineer's working pay table. Cool. Uh, I'm going to stick this over here. This will be our engineer's area. I think I'll just sit it like right here. And then this holds uh, blueprints that we can use later. So here's an engineer's blueprint, common projectiles. So, and then this is an iron mechanical component. So engineer's blueprint wants us to make one. Okay, we can do that. Um, Actually, you know what? It just gave us, did we just get credit for, oh, that's hilarious. So it gave us a blueprint and then it gave us credit for the blueprint. That's hilarious, okay. So blueprints, you stick in here like this, I believe. And then, yeah, here's the recipes. Okay, that's cool. I don't really need that though. So we could go into our, our box and we can actually put these in here. And then let's, can I put this in here? Yes, I can. All right, so that's done. Uh, iron mechanical components. I guess we could put that, I guess we could put this in here. We don't really need those right now. All right, so what else can we get to? I'm trying to get to this uh, water wheel, okay? And this is gonna per actually allow us to get power. Before I do that, I would like to get these, uh, this Coke oven thing done. We do need to go back to the nether and get one of these magma blocks and some of these nether bricks. I'm gonna have to go all the way, actually, nether wreck. We'll do that, okay. So what is the, is it tab back or backspace? Backspace, okay. Uh, bricks, so we're gonna need four times, that gives us three, we're gonna need nine of these. Yeah, nine, nine. so we need to make 36. 
how much clay do we have? Let's type in clay. All right, so we need that, and then we need uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, so I'm just watching our time. So let's put 18 in there and 18 in there. Those will cook up, make us some bricks. We do need to go to the nether, so let's go ahead and go to the nether real quick. And uh, before we go to the nether, though, <laughs> I don't have a sword. Uh, hopefully we won't need a sword. Hopefully. All right, we do need this. Which most of the stuff that I've already broken... Actually, why am I doing this? We can just do it like this. Oh my god, I about hit that guy. Okay, that gives us all that. All right, that gives us a bunch. That should be enough for right now. All right, it's super dark in here. I wish I had like, um, so there's some down there. So let's run down there real quick. We just need to go over here. Um, it's actually way over there, isn't it? Okay, let's go over here. I don't know why it's it's so much darker in here. I feel like we, uh, I know that there's a, a trinket that gives you night vision. You know what? I wonder if I hold a torch. Nope, that didn't help. <laughs> that didn't help at all. All right, so let's go over here. Get down my little thing here. And let's see if we can find some of that over here. Uh, there's some cobalt. I'll take the cobalt, though. All right, we'll take the cobalt. Perfect. Uh, oh, there's some right there. Cool. All right, let's go over there and grab that. There's some gravel there. I don't really need the gravel. I don't need any more glowstone. At least for... <gasps> no! Oh, crap! Oh! Uh, crap. All right, so we've got our stuff. It's actually right here on the edge. Thank God. Oh my God. What is this, by the way? Dimensional shards from FST. Oh, there's uh, dimensions. We can do dimensions in this. I doubt we can pick that. We can. There's dimensional shards. How freaking awesome is that? I didn't know we could create. Oh, there's more. I didn't know we can create dimensions in here. What is this? That's that other ore. There's some more copper or some more cobalt. All right, let's grab this real quick. I'll just grab a bunch while we're here so I don't have to come back. All right, that works. I wonder if I could cook this stuff, become something else. Like, can this turn into blaze rods? I'm just curious. I don't think it can, but it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, the only way we're gonna really be able to get blaze rods is if I go and make a jet pack. So I need to like pillar up here, don't I? Make a jet pack and then uh, fly over to that, that place that we were. That's the side of that place. Uh, fly over to the... Um, the fortress and see if that spawner is there. I don't, like I said, I don't remember seeing it there. I might have missed it. It shows up on the map, but I don't know. Man, this is really dark on here. I feel like something's missing. <laughs> All right, let's cook this stuff up. Uh, let's put a bunch in there and then a bunch in there and then I'll store the rest of this and then we got the magma blocks um let's see I'm curious to see if this allows us let's do this um that's not what I wanted can we no nope. uh does magma blocks like that's what I wanted to see can I do anything with magma blocks it turns into magma bricks uh, if I wash it, it turns into obsidian. That's good to know. Uh, if I heat it with lava, it becomes magma cream. Uh, we can use it as a modifier. Nice. Auto smelt or soul speed. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't really do anything. That's cool. All right. So let's grab this and this and then this and this. Put these in here. And then we should be able to make this thing here. Let's do A, click on this, click on that, and then one, two, three, four, five, all right, 27, perfect. All right, let's go build this. Now, if I remember correctly on this, I need to um, have a hopper at the top, if I remember correctly, to make this work. Let's see, let's go make a hopper real quick. Let's go in here. Uh, let's type in hop. I might actually have a hopper. Let's just check. I do have a hopper. All right, let's do that. And then our tool is right here. And then let's go ahead and, you know what? Can I crush this? Can I crush this ore? Put it in there. Let's see how much we get. Uh, I need some stepping stones is what I'm looking for. Uh, do we just have some dirt? Uh, not enough dirt. Uh, let's just use some cobblestone. Where's our cobblestone at? Where'd our cobblestone go? Oh, it's up there now. All right, that's cool. All right, let's go put this on there, and this we'll have this done. And then uh, we did uh, a lot 
uh, not we didn't really do a lot in this episode, but I feel like we did a lot, but I don't think we did. And let's click on that. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and click and get our rewards. So we got magma bricks. Now, I'm not quite sure why we needed magma bricks. <laughs> Uh, but this is going to create steel, right? And the steel is a little bit more expensive. Three iron for one steel. Uh, so if we go over to this, it's three iron makes one steel. Okay. Uh, the arc furnace, this from immersive engineering gives you one steel for every. Okay. Uh, how do you make steel ingots? It doesn't really show any other recipe for it. Yeah, we don't have a way of getting steel grit. Okay, so it's going to require uh, coal coke. Uh, what does the magma bricks do? I'm just curious. Like, that has to give us something, right? The magma bricks, do they give us... Are they used for something, like, to cook? Nope, they're just for fun. Looks like they're just for fun, maybe. Yeah, that's all they're used for. Okay, well, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, we could use it for something, I guess. We'll just go ahead and storm in here for now. Uh, let's go ahead and put these in there, too. All right, so um, I'm looking at my time. I've been recording for 33 minutes. Uh, let me go ahead and I want to show you guys one thing, and then I'll show you why I want to make it. Let's go to create real quick. Uh, create. All right, and then I want to make, uh, where is it at? This thing right here, the brass funnel, Okay. So we need brass ingots, which we have, and then electron tubes, which is sandpaper with rose quartz. Rose quartz, we can make all that. Uh, let's just grab a bunch of this. And then the sandpaper was what? How do you make sandpaper? Uh, sandpaper is sand and paper. Makes sense. And then if I remember correctly, you put this in one hand and put this in the other. So you go like this, and then uh, maybe it's the opposite. Hmm. Did we make a... We made a cast, didn't we? We didn't mean to make cast. Uh sand paper that's what we needed to make right there that's diamond grit sandpaper though uh can we not make just regular sandpaper paper and sand uh let's go ahead let's do this real quick let's break all this all right did we get everything some of it probably went in here nope it didn't okay let's go over here let's do this and then let's grab a piece of sand and a piece of paper yeah that's sandpaper it made us it made stupid cast that's not what i wanted all right so yeah there. So it made us four of these rose quartz. That's the way you make rose quartz. All right, let's get rid of that. Put that in there. Okay. And then um, let's go... Uh, pfft, what were we doing? Let's go back to here. I create. Uh, create. And I need to make this thing here. And then... Recipe too large. Oh, I need to do it in here. There we go. Boom, boom. Where, where, oh, I gotta make the freaking things on the top. These things. So we need to make that. All right, there's one of those. Then this. All right, that makes two. Good, because I need two. Okay. So basically what this is going to do, um, we're going to drop that gravel down. Poop. Away. All right. We're going to drop that gravel down, and it's going to hit a belt, okay? We're going to have two of these things. Oh, crap, it's not going to work. i got to put a belt up here. We'll just we'll just put it right here. Let's get the, um, let's get the shafts, all right? And then let's get the belts. All right, that's all we need. All right, so... Let's say that we have um, this, and you, some of you guys might know this, but it's for the people that don't, all right? Let's say that we have this going on. You can put these on here, right? And on the top, if we click on B, and then we get this wrench, on the top of this thing, you see how it says, when multiple outputs available split, all right? So that's saying, like, we can change all this, right? I can actually put another one right beside this one, like right here. And what happens is the, the gravel is gonna come in here and it's gonna see that there's another output right beside it. We'll just have to, we need another belt here. And so we'll have two of these side by side. It's gonna split the gravel. So some of the gravel will come down this way. Some of the gravel will come down this belt. And what I want to happen is this gravel will get stored in our system. And then this gravel is gonna go through another wheel, like one of those up there. We'll just have it, uh, we'll have it down here probably. And that will change all our gravel into uh, clay and sand, which is what we need for some recipes. And that should handle all of that. So I think that's what I'm going to do in between episodes, okay? Uh, we do need to put a bunch of, I believe, 
coal. Let's grab, I think this is, you put coal in this. This doesn't, this makes coal coke. Okay, that's what we need, coal coke. This requires coal coke. And then you put iron in that. So we can actually put uh, some more coal in there. And then uh, it's full. Crap, okay. Well, we need a way to pull all that fluid out of there then, don't we? So let's put this away. And then let's grab, uh, let's grab like that many of those. And let's put these in here. And that's gonna start making us some steel. Okay. So that's going to do that. Uh, in between episodes, I'm probably going to work on that whole system. Uh, what I want to do is actually get, uh, we'll have the steel. I want to make some water wheels. So I'll probably do this next episode with you guys and we'll actually have power set up. Once we have power established, then we can go back over to the storage and we can start working on these controllers. And it looks like uh, storage, we're gonna need blocks of quartz, diamond, that's not a big deal. Uh, these things, uh, diamond processor binding, that's not gonna be a big deal. We do need some string though, so might have to get some tree stuff going on. That's gonna give us some flux points and a wrench uh, to make the monitor. Uh, it looks like patterns, which isn't a big deal. And can we go back, please? Um, uh, machine casing is quartz enriched iron. Oh, quartz enriched iron is just iron and nether quartz. So we'll have to go get some more nether quartz. So yeah, we'll probably have enough to get this set up, which this might be an entire episode on its own. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, then we'll have to make these cables and the cables are quartz enriched iron. So we'll have to come up with a way to make this quartz enriched iron pretty quickly uh the link cable is not an issue so yeah all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did smack the like button hit the subscribe button and uh leave some comments or suggestions i appreciate all of them i try to answer all of them as well and i will see you next time <laughs>